Edward Jude Avery is located at the southern corner of Hong Kong Park, is built along a natural valley on the northern slope of Victoria Peak. Major tree species include fig, pond spice, tree cotton, kapok tree, and candlenut tree. A variety of farm and tree ferns are also planted to enrich the forest vegetation. The forest floor is lined with a deep leaf litter along with the ferns and other typical forest plants that serve as a ground covers. The giant trees in the rainforest with the huge batteries and still roots take several hundred years to grow and can hardly reach maturity under the climatic conditions of Hong Kong. Nevertheless, they can be seen in the aviary as accurate imitations specifically provided on the site. This is my winter. The Edward Youth Avery of Hong Kong Park has been open to public since September 1992. The aviary is named after the late Sir Edward Youth, the governor of Hong Kong from 1982 to 1986. The aviary has a raised walkway that allows visitors to walk through the tree canopy from which they can watch the birds trees and plants at a various elevation and the whole valley from the different angles. The walkway is a wheelchair accessible. The valley floor of the aviary is a shriveled fold of trees and shrubs and adorned with shallow falls and small waterfalls. Water goes down the valley and flows into a large pool which is contagious with a small lake outside the exit of the aviary and offers a nice place for watching a waterfall. This pre panel with the graphic textual illustrations are erected at the entrance of the aviary to explain the structure and ecology of a tropical rainforest with a particular reference to the bird communities in the aviary. The birds are indigenous to the Malaysian rainforest. Malaysia is a botanical region covering a vast area extending from the Malaya Peninsula and Great Sundas, Sumatra, Borneo, and Java, the Philippines, the Indonesia Islands, and the New Guinea and the Bismarck Archipelago. These rainforests are home to the tallest rainforest trees on earth and a large number of animal species including some of the world's most beautiful birds. Sadly, these forests have been subject to destructions on a massive scale and are under constant and a serious threat. As a result, many birds and species are threatened with extinction. Although it is not possible to recreate a rainforest. We have created the similar habitat to allow visitors to enjoy the sights and sounds of a spectacular birds in a natural environment. <laughs> the aviary features around 550 birds of 70 different species. <laughs> Mostly indigenous to Malaysia, ground dwelling birds include peasants, patriarchs, pigeons, and thrushes. Some, like the crown pigeons and golden peasants, are spectacularly beautiful. The aviary also houses barbets, which is characteristic birds of the forest in the western part of Malaysia, 
and the repetitive calls are common in that region. Songbirds like Shamas and Yellow Crown Bobos often sing loud, melodious songs against and a background of the various birds' calls, making the aviary resemble a rainforest. There are also other passerine birds such as brightly colored fairy blue birds, bobos and left birds. The aviary is a home to a variety of endangered bird species including bali manos, which have a beautiful snow white plumage with bare skin and bright blue around the eyes and a long backward sweeping crest. They often fly between the trees and race walkway in the aviary, singing and chattering delightfully. Although many arboreal doves and pigeons have brightly colored peek out when perching in the tree, foliage on the contrary rainbow lorikeets, black cake, lorries, and alexandrine parakeets are attractive to visitors and easy to trees as they often fly around the aviary. Java sparrow are commonly used as a fortune telling birds. They are highly socialized, foraging for food in groups. Although small in size, they work together to carry nesting materials that are bigger than their bodies. Their strength and cooperation are indeed amazing. The waterfall wave is landscape to form a swamp to accommodate different species of a waterfall common shade locks and specifically attractive species are often found swimming in the lake glacier lake. It is pity that not all the spectacular species can be housed in the aviary. For example, the large hornbills have to be kept separately in the display cage as they prey on the smaller birds.
ko to nindot ang end lang ang kuan kasi itong itong Dapat sila ay flowing na sa pa. Turo tayo dyan o, sa rin manok. Asa? Nay orange. Asa? Turo, turo. Dili orange ka na, orange ba nga putas? So. Sa rin manok. <laughs> oh, alo, alo, natapong. Muro po dahil manok ni.
Nada sila pato. Tiga. Nada sila pato. Pro. Asa. Pro. Oh. Apa is dah? Kau complete tu pegawai mum. Asa kanan doa. Uak na. Uak deh na. Tinggal jawab. Oh, dili uak. Satu uak.